She was brought up by left-wing parents and spent some of her childhood in uh, here in Scotland. Um, went to a comprehensive school, was quite a radical, joined the Liberal Democrats and called for the abolishment of the monarchy. Um, who is this firebrand? Believe it or not, it's the new British Prime Minister, Liz Truss. Obviously, something happened on her political journey because she's now bordering on being right of Genghis Khan. She even praised her predecessor, Boris Johnson, and said history will judge him kindly. How? Unless he's going to write it himself. My next message is for the people of Pakistan. I am standing with you and praying for you in these terrible testing times, but please try and keep the faith and hold on tight to the rope. The darkest hour comes just before the dawn. Sadly, the Pakistan government seems more concerned with persecuting Imran Khan's followers than dealing with the floods uh, and the fallout from the floods. Please don't think this was a natural disaster either. They were also man-made as a result of years of neglect by successive corrupt governments that should have invested heavily on the infrastructure in Pakistan, more dams, bigger dams, and, and uh, ways of dealing with the rainy season. PTI chairman Imran Khan will give a call for a march on Islamabad once the floods recede. You need to back him and get him back in power before the annual rainy season turns into the annual flood season. Meanwhile, in the land of the pharaohs, it seems at least one person has not been hit by the severe economic crisis over there. Abdel Fattah Sisi, the Egyptian president, has just bought a new presidential jumbo jet, costing $500 million. Egypt has been struggling to generate foreign currency um, for imports to try and tackle its inflation which has been hitting the country hard for years. So is it wise that Sisi goes and lashes out half a billion dollars on a 747? Come on, that is a bit excessive. Yeah. Anyway, I'll leave you to ponder on that one and uh, see you at the next midweek crisis.